What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raves. The movie that made teenagers fall in love with Tessa and Harden, and the writer that made it all possible, Anna Todd. She received millions of followers after only releasing the first few chapters of her book online. Seeing how popular the book is, she strapped down, wrote and published the rest of it and it became the sex and the city for teenagers. Seeing the opportunity to create a gobstopper of a movie, production companies quickly signed a deal with the author to make a movie adaptation of her book. The only problem they had was changing the name of Harry Styles from One Direction, the character with whom Tessa fall in love, into Hardin Scott. Nevertheless, fans didn't really care about the name. Once they saw how thrilling of a drama this movie was, to prove the enthusiasm fans had about it, the movie managed to turn the $14 million budget into a jaw-dropping $70 million at the box office. Not too shabby for a low-budget film, eh? And today, we wanted to look what scenes didn't make the final cut and were discarded by the producers. So, join us as we uncover the after deleted scenes that would have changed everything. Let's jump right in, people. Short recap. Nice to meet. So, what happened in the movie? Well, for those of you that don't know, we have Tessa and we have Harden. Tessa is a freshman at college and she has a boyfriend. However, she forgets all about him when she meets Harden at a party. They first kiss one night under a full moon during a late night swim. From that moment onward, Tessa and Harden could never be the same. They have their ups and downs, but they can never be parted. You don't believe us? Well, how about the fact that Tessa broke up with her high school sweetheart just so she can be with Harden? And then the unthinkable happened. It always does, doesn't it? Tessa found out about the recording of Harden saying how he plans on just sleeping with her and dumping her the very next day. But mind you, this was in the very beginning. Harden didn't really get to know Tessa. And we sure as hell know that he was heartbroken when she left. And didn't you feel like you lost something the moment Tessa left him alone in that shed while she crossed her arms, lowered her head, and then slowly walked away while the rain was pouring? Ah, oh, that scene literally broke us into pieces. Going back home, making up with her boyfriend and her family was all good until she read the letter. That's right, the bad boy, Macho Harden, finally showed his soft side. This was one of the reasons Tessa left everything and went to the meeting ground, the lake where they first kissed. As Tessa was sitting there, Hardin approaches her, narrating his letter and saying the iconic phrase, you once asked me who I love the most in the world. It's you. If that didn't make your heart melt, we don't know what will. So now that we know more or less what is going on in the movie, we will start discussing the different deleted scenes that didn't end up in the movies. The favor. We decided to go with the storyline and follow where we think these scenes could have been added. Given that Tessa doesn't know Ken Scott, that means this scene is somewhere near the beginning of the movie. We all know she gets to meet Hardin's father at his engagement party, where his fiance is Landon's mom, making Hardin and Landon half brothers. But enough about his dad, let's talk about the scene. Tessa supposedly walks into the dean's office and she talks to the assistant, telling her she wants to talk to him. Right in the corner is Ken. He listens to the whole conversation but doesn't seem to pay much attention to the whole situation. That is, he doesn't know until he hears the name Tessa Young. He immediately walks up to her and tells her that Landon has spoken to him about a beautiful young lady. As she tells him that she has some trouble with her finances, Ken smiles politely and asks his assistant to immediately get on the case and try to figure out what's wrong. Meanwhile, he leans towards her and says, Smash that like button if you haven't done so already. <laughs> that would be weird, wouldn't it? Anyways, he says that he wants to ask Tessa for a favor concerning Scott. But what is the favor about? What was he going to ask her? Sadly, we didn't get to hear the favor as the scene ends there. But maybe he was going to ask Tessa to help Harden with his grades. Or maybe this was after she got a little mad at Harden and now wants her to be friends with him again. 
Who knows, maybe this could have been the scene that made the movie face an opposite direction. Zed needs help. Hey Tessa, you look nice. We think that this scene was supposed to be placed right after the big fight between Tessa and Harden after he tells her, I don't care. The scene focuses on Zed's big break. Seeing the opportunity present itself, Zed strikes and he strikes big. Right after classes, he runs up to Tessa and starts telling her how he doesn't understand a word of what his professor is saying, complaining how the material is hard or he is just stupid for not getting it. After she sees Zed so frustrated, she offers to tutor him. And that's exactly the thing Zed was waiting for. Knowing that he has set his dominoes in order, and also knowing that Harden wouldn't be too happy about the whole situation, he thought he could get the girl and make Harden jealous. All at the same time, but his plans turn a little south right after this next deleted scene. Tutoring at the diner. Like, if you stop using the mm -hmm. same word and... Well, it can, I mean, sometimes it can just... The scene cuts and we see Tessa and Zed sitting at a diner with the books open and she's teaching him as best she can about how to improve his grades. But the only thing that Zed pays attention to is her. He doesn't even look at the notes. When Steph sat on the table next to him, she called him out on his behavior and asked him to give Tessa some breathing room. Again, just as they're about to focus on the studying, in walks Harden wanting to talk to Tessa. But the problem is, she doesn't want to talk to him after saying that he doesn't date. And that Zed butts in and asks him to wait because he's really trying to focus on the lesson. Yeah, right. To which Harden replies with a polite eye roll and scoff. And it was more than enough to provoke Zed to get up from his chair and start screaming. Tessa intervenes before the situation gets out of control and she basically asks Harden if he had something to say in front of everyone. And if he didn't want to talk to her in front of everyone, she suggested Harden leave them alone and let them focus on their studies. Heartbroken by this cold approach, Harden leaves the room completely furious at Tessa and Zed. And he turns them, as he turns his back to them, Tessa couldn't stop looking at him and you could just see the tears and anger in her eyes. And now you see why this scene was not included in the movie. It was basically a huge turning point in the relationship between Harden and Tessa, where they came too close to breaking up. And know how hot-headed Harden is, this scene would have agreed so much that he might have ended it with Tessa. The wedding prep. You actually enjoy yourself? Not likely. Why not? If you ask us, this scene should have made the final cut. It would have just added another level of depth to the iconic wedding scene. Tessa convincing Harden to go to his father's wedding is something that would have enriched the otherwise bland and cold cut scene where we see them both at the wedding. If they decided to put this scene in, we would have seen them both getting ready and Harden putting on the black suit, looking handsome as ever. Not to mention, when Tessa walked in the room, Harden didn't know what to say. He was practically lost for words, and he just stared at his beautiful girlfriend. And then, as they are approaching the party, we see them walking slowly towards the entrance and talking all the way through. Instead of a panoramic view of the building where the party is hosted, we get a warm conversation between the lovers where Tessa tries to tell him to look on the positive side and think about how he's going to enjoy himself while they're there. She even tries to make small talk just to ease the tension. And when she sees that nothing is working and they're about to walk in, she just asks him to be on his best behavior and kisses him on the lips while he's holding her in his hands. Now, do you see that? Isn't this scene something the show was missing? It doesn't complicate anything going forward. Instead, it just shows us a whole new level of love that the two characters have grown accustomed to. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, which of these deleted scenes do you think should have been included in the movie? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.